their way, on their way, here to slay, but they need some help. They need some help. Hey guys, Emmy and Ian went to Zaza Town this episode and we overdid it a little. So there's absolutely <laughs> not even an ounce of structure at all. I don't even know if there's t- any words. Honestly. I don't know what we said. I, I don't know what remember, we talked like, about. Since I walked in this room, I, really I got really mad this. at one point. At what? The earth. Oh, yeah. We were trying to figure um, out science and we had to call manager Jordan in here to help us. But we've calmed down a bit from then. Um, but yeah, this episode is actually going to be awful and Not probably awful, pretty horrible. Just a nightmare. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't um, think it's bad. I just think it's but a nightmare. This is just an apology if you decide to sit through this. Thank you. No, don't say that because then they're not going to want to. No, they're going to want to. <laughs> That's like self deprecating. Like, oh, I'm trash. No, and <laughs> we just. Wait, what? No, when people we just like doubled like we double did the reverse psychology because um we both did the opposite. So keep it all in. Now you don't even know what to do. Are you gonna watch it or not? <laughs> do I look like Kid Leroy? Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back, back to, to Emmy and E. Or welcome back to ASMR M- Girl and Corpse. <laughs> Need help? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I was I left a piece of me in Zaza Town. <laughs> it just actually got back on the flight and came back no, to me. No, literally, they lost our luggage and a piece of us was left in Zaza Town. Zaza Town is only like four rooms away. We flew from Spirit. You flew from Spirit. What you flew from? What Zaza Airlines? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Zaza Airlines. And after this, we're Zaza. gonna go to we're gonna go to Zaza R Us. No, we're not. That's a real place. No, I it's wanna... not. Yes, it is re- a real place. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> it's in Bushwick. It's called Zaza RS. Stop lying to people. I'm not lying. <laughs> Bitch. Wait, let me have my you're girls. Being a... Jasmine, if you're listening to this, which I know you do. Hi, send Jasmine. Me the Zaza RS meme. Okay, wait. I'm texting her to find it. Um. So what's new? I don't know. We've kind of just been like chilling. We're just like in our chill. We're in our like we low. We had the best key. night of our lives. <laughs> what? We had the <laughs> the <laughs> best night of our lives. When? You know. Oh, we got motherfucking dizzy. Oh my god! Actually, I literally was tricking you because I was like, I want to know what Ian thinks the best night of our lives was in the past week. <laughs> well, that's all. And I, I, I think literally of the best night of our lives this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I am covering my chin. I'm feeling super insecure today. Me too. Um, I'm wearing is that why you put the hoodie on? Oh, yeah, I'm wearing pajamas right now. Um, I walked in the fucking office, and Jenna Wolf looked at me and said, I can't believe you actually go places like that. That's well. fucked up. This morning, I farted so loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was awake. You woke Cece up. Ian woke my dog up out of her sleep, and she was afraid. She literally jumped out of her sleep because Ian ripped ass. Not only did Ian rip ass, you ripped ass in her face because she was laying right by her ass. You shit it in my dog's one face. Time, one time I farted so loud, it didn't only wake Emmy up, but it woke me up. <laughs> and I said, I said, I said, oh, what? And I looked at her and you I was like, were, like no, actually, I've never seen someone so confused. I woke up in panic because like I knew that I had woken myself up from farting, but I didn't know <laughs> if I needed to. So I just stared at her and waited to see what she was going to say about it. What? <laughs> like you looked like I like kidnapped you and took you somewhere. Like you looked like you literally didn't know where you were. Like, sorry, I'm done. <laughs> I did. Anyways, we, we got motherfucking this talk how we're supposed to talk okay we got really wait crazy. can i be lost for the rest of the episode <laughs> i feel like people would get annoyed at last <laughs> so on the island um we went to the dizzy part now we got so dizzy we went to tana mojo dizzy party i w- i felt kind of honored because um i went and then tana was like i feel like you don't leave your house like i feel like you never go out and i'm like yeah, fucking she was screaming. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's I was screaming like, in the next I was room. like, like I honestly don't really go anywhere that much. But like, sh- I like, I'm, I feel honored that you think. having someone like think that you're like so low key, like you wouldn't even show up. I know. I'm like, <laughs> meanwhile, we were like free wine. I know. Me and Ian were like, oh, yeah. we gotta go. We said free. 
actually, she didn't even say it was free, but I stole 20 cans of Dizzy Wine. So if anyone wants... I stole four boxes. <laughs> if anyone wants some Dizzy Wine and they want to get a little uh, bit dizzy, Billy. I hit me the I up. made me pretty dizzy. No. Bitch. Why is my pinky like this? <laughs> I'm embarrassed if you saw that. I should be more embarrassed that I'm covering my chins. Um... Like, really, Emmy? Um, sorry. What was I talking Oh, yeah. We got dizzy. Um, we did. And I'm sorry, bitch. There was, like, these delicious tacos at the Dalesy party. And, <laughs> All, like, like, the ED, like, LA girls. I can say that, okay? Um, don't only specify it to women. Thank you. Okay, okay, but that's, like, saying, like, the girls. And then it's just, like, you and gay well, men. if you're saying the girls, but you said, <laughs> you said ED, LA girls, you didn't say girls. <laughs> like you didn't say girls. I mean, girls. I said girls. No, you were implying women. I was just applying like the girls. No, you had to like give it the shows. Okay, then the E D L A girls. Thank you. Yes, keep going. I don't know. They <laughs> wouldn't eat the taco truck. Oh yeah, there was. Like <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I had to finish the story. Um, no, there was delicious, yummy tacos, and they all looked so happy and like uh, to be working. <laughs> You're gonna start crying because the taco was, workers didn't myself. get appreciated. Yeah, I stopped myself. Um, there was just people working. I'm gonna cry. There was people working really hard and making the tacos so good, and they like, smelled so good. And me and Ian were, were the only so like pigs in the farm eating the hay. Like we literally ate so <laughs> many and it kept going Do you bad. Need a horse. Pigs could eat whatever they want. <laughs> like stop. Like I, yeah, maybe I did. Um. <laughs> Really the pigs in the oh. farm eating the hay. Bitch, I literally, like, I'm still in Zaza Town, girl. Like, I don't know. I've never been there. Um, No, but, like, no one was eating the fucking tacos, and it was pissing me off. And me and Ian were hogging out, like, eating all the tacos. And then I literally was looking for another soul eating a taco. But then I saw Ella Snyder, Snyder eating yeah. a taco, and I love Ella Snyder. You never made American Girl Cafe Yeah, relations. bitch, because of you. I asked you twice. How is it because of me? Because you couldn't go. I said I would go. When I asked you the two times. I, I told you the first time. No, not that you could go or not, if you could go win. <laughs> I told you both times that I could go on that Friday. That might be on me then. <laughs> I mean, I, li I literally told you, and then you said, you said, okay. And then I said, do you want to go to heaven? And then you said, no, we have to do American Girl Co Doll Cafe with Ella Snyder. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, we have to reserve that. Yeah, and, and you didn't. Why is it on me? Because I'm embarrassed, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to, like, do something to distract from me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you want to recreate, like, a little bit of a publicity episode? I mean, let's Nick just Kroll, if you ever bust your vocal cords and can't talk for lies anymore, I can do it for you. How can old I is he? Nick Kroll, how old He likes old to are keep you? it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know. Um <laughs> <laughs> wait, stop. Nick Kroll, if you see <laughs> What are you saying? Nick, just let me live. You sound fucking crazy right now. Nick Kroll. Wait. I got a little bit of spit in my mouth. I need to like wash. I need to wash it down with a diet. I need to wash it down. <laughs> I got tuna. I can't tuna. Um, Why did he get that? Because <laughs> he can eat whatever the fuck he wants. Um, Nick Kroll, if you ever bust your vocal cords and can't talk for laws anymore or la la, I could do it for you. I would be honored. I can give you five hundred dollars in Dave and Buster tokens. Um, here's an example of. Liz, can you be the other Liz? I don't. Oh, okay. Go pretend to vomit in the bathroom. Okay. Um, <coughs> Liz, is that swimsuit season? Cause you just like roughed. And then you say, um, that you're trying to be a lady about it, but you're pregnant. I was trying to be a lady about it. Like but you're trying to be like a lady about it. I mean, I don't know what you want from Basically, me. Basically, right that's my audition. Next. Um. Oh my god, wait, wait can I talk about something that pissed me off actually? Yeah. And it might be like standing in the lane of hey no. I can see the lane above your head because it's like on my eyes. <laughs> um, something that and this is like actually kinda like serious. I, we're like really going like full 180 right now because like it actually pissed me off. Because I saw this guy online and we need to end what's wrong? Why are you laughing? Okay. We okay, gay people look at me in the eyes. You did not sleep with the football team. <laughs> like, you did not. I'm so sick of seeing this thing where it's like, oh, like, this straight guy's homophobic. 
he just likes guys and is secretly gay. No, bitch. Like, why can't people just be homophobic? Like, not like, no, 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 not in the sense. You're digging <laughs> some sort of hole right now. I'm, I'm not a part said, of this. No, in the sense that I just had a Kelly Osbourne moment. No, what I mean is, like, why do you have to try to, like, humanize someone that's being homophobic and being like, oh, well, they're probably just gay. Like, they're not actually okay, homophobic. Okay, now you make sense, bitch. Yeah. I was like, uh uh-huh. No, it's just so annoying. And I hate to see, I fucking hate when guys are like, oh, yeah, like, all the jocks at my school are so homophobic. But on the DL, we're hooking up. Like, you're Wait, not. It has the same energy as when someone says Freddie Mercury would have loved you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. No, you're not hooking up with the football team. Like, I don't want to hear that shit anymore. Like, sure, I'm sure it's happened sometimes. Wait, no, because I know a lot of gay people, and I don't know anyone that's done that. (laughs) (laughs) So, wait, I cracked the code. It's true. Like, you're all lying. All of them. I'm sure it's happened. Liars. Like, I'm sure, but I feel like... Y'all saw it on Glee once with Kurt and that other football person, and then now you just assume that that's your lie. Don't spoil Glee. Mm -hmm. I fucking love Glee. I'll spoil Euphoria. I don't care. No, not right now to you guys, but to like in real life, if some bitch hasn't watched it and I'm talking about it with bitches who have watched it, I don't give a fuck if I spoil it. It's too like, it's too like a bitch. It's on Twitter. It's being spoiled as it's being played. Here's Euphoria. I have not seen it. This is what's happening. Um, wait. Whose and- dog was here? <laughs> Probably yours on your sleeve. Okay, wait. Take it, take it. I'm going to guess what's happening on Euphoria actually just from what I've seen on Twitter. Okay. Oh, for the new season? Yeah, okay. okay. So new se- what are their names? Well, which it's ones? Nate. The main ones? Yeah, it's Rue, Jules, Nate, Cass. Cassie. Cassie. Cat, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Fez. And I, s- I said Rue, Jules, Nate, mm. Fez. Mm. Mm. Mike. Who the fuck's Mike? I don't know. Who's Dominic Fife's character? Mm. No, that's Elliot. Elliot? Please, you're freaking kidding me. I mean, me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Just mm. say I don't care to say it. <laughs> Maddie. Okay, I don't know these people. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what's happening in Euphoria. If you don't know the scoop, guys, this is the Tottest Teen Among Us. Among Us. Among Us Fortnite Um Squid Game Challenge Gone Wrong. So here's what's happening in Euphoria, if you missed it. Rude. Should I shake yes or no if it's right? Um, do it to the camera. Okay. So, on Euphoria this season, Rue, a mess on so much drugs. But Jules is kind of getting a little bit fed up with it. But we don't really care about them anymore because this is about Cassie and Maddie and Nate. So, basically, Nate's dad is fucking gay. He's always on Grinder, always hooking up with guys. He's cheating on his wife and it's whole drama. And Jules knows because Jules had found out his Instagram password and figured it out. But guess what? Nate's dating Cassie or Maddie or one of them. But Maddie's fucking him on the low, super pissed off. And then that one girl's like, you're a bitch, bitch. You gotta be joking. And then they're at a party and Cassie finds out that Maddie is hooking up with Nate and is like, no, no. And then this girl's like, up against a wall like with her like hands like that and then also what's going on with Kat she's not really doing much but she started her own drug business on the side with Fez and then Dominic Fike's character's like I'm sexy and then he's hooking up with all of them <laughs> a lot of that was right really yeah but a lot of it was wrong and then you got you got some storylines right but you mixed the people up really mm-hmm that was and then you just made some random shit up that made no sense. <laughs> so I should have acted it out. Yeah. Mm. I love Coca Cola. Yum. Oh wait, mm. that's like really good. Oh my god, we had the. W- if anyone from Coca Cola is watching, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a really cheddar w- twist. <laughs> Let me speak. We had a really interesting night the other night. We went out to WeHo. Some guy tried drunk driving. Oh we ended my up at the God. disco jungle. Like, we couldn't get into a party. Emmy could have gotten in. I was not invited. I'm. Okay, well, first I of all. I would have got my best fan. First of all, I, don't know I would. How. <laughs> first of all, I would never have, like, a party that was, like, actually, like, invite. Okay. Like, 
<laughs> me. I would never have like a party at a venue for my birthday. I think that's like sounds like a nightmare. I'd be stressed the entire time. Like I don't like enough people to have that many people there. But my thing is, don't try to make your party seem all cool and then get mad when people ask their friends to come. Because like obviously p- people aren't just like uh, just because one person has followers doesn't mean that they want to go alone because they have followers because that's a whole thing with are you listening to me or are you burping into your hand which one is it which one I just think it's stupid and don't try to make it seem like you had like this crazy fun party. Also, unless you're having like an extravaganza wedding, something like that is like of significance. Bitch, is it if you're if it's your fucking stupid ass <laughs> birthday, why are you making me d- wear all black? <laughs> Everyone in LA tries to have like all these like fancy dress codes and this is it's also not directed towards anyone and also it's like, uh, it's, Wait, I've been no. like six. I need to shut up. I literally told you all you couldn't come to my birthday if you didn't dress as Adam Sandler. <laughs> Holy but that's shit, different because that's hypocrite. like that's like six people. Oh no, it's because we're like funny. That's because no, you're like going like out. No, that's so different. Going out with like seven of your friends that they all agreed to doing it, like thinking it would be funny, is one thing. But then like expecting like a hundred fifty plus people to like wear silver earrings and a gold nose ring and a crop top, or you're not allowed in. It's like no, I f- I take it back. I'm being really a I, yeah. That was so hypocritical. I don't think that's hypocritical. It is. I'm because it was like eight of us. And so I like also the other option was to all dress as new girl and recreate the intro with me, which nobody did. But that's not like a party party. I'm talking about like get a venue, not like go out with close friends. I'm talking. I'm not. I mean, you um, just took we that. We got a pagana at Rock. <laughs> you, I just called it a pagana. <laughs> Emmy just took me saying that she didn't have a party at a venue as I didn't have fun, and I just like saw it in your face of you thinking that I was trying to like. I Emmy. Mean, Stop texting. Oh, my God. We were talking about oh, Rocco's. No, I'm a hypocrite, and I take it all back. I'm sorry. But we did go to WeHo, and there was a man trying to drunk drive, like, literally fully in his car started it, like, head against the wheel. So I did just – mom, don't watch. I did she, – she'll be mad at me for doing this. But all my friends were standing right there. It's yeah, okay. we were all fine. We No, literally, it was like – I opened his door, and I tried taking his keys, but I did take his vape by <laughs> accident because I also was really drunk. So I did just take his vape, but then I, I like, distracted him because I'm so good at stalling. I kept talking. Well, basically – Would you say I'm good at stalling? You – yes. Yeah. Okay. I stalled you three times in a row, and you didn't even know. <laughs> Not right now. On FaceTime? Mm-hmm. Um, we were at Rocco's. Key, key, key. Then it wasn't – Oh, no, no, no. We were Mickey's. at Fiesta Cantina when this happened. And then, oh. like, stuff happened. We all had to leave. So we left. We were, like, behind an alley. Like, everyone was pissing in a different bush. And then we were, like, waiting to get, like, an address for this other place. And then we just see this guy, like, stumble and, like, get into his car. And then he's, like, face down, like, literally on the steering wheel. like. But he also, like, fully started his car. Yeah, like, obviously, like, blackout, blackout drunk. Which, like, girl, come on. You're, like... You can't drunk drive from Fiesta Cantina. Like, that's sad. You shouldn't drunk drive anywhere. I know, but, like, in Weho, that's even more sad. <laughs> why did we, Why would you drive to Weho? Like, I don't know. Also, wait, like, I just Weho. think it's so fuck. What? Weho. I just think it's... West. Weh. I know. West. Weh. We've had this discussion. Holy. Weho. <laughs> that's what it should Are be. Are you okay? Like You're like acting really strange right now. Bitch. My Don't start that. My lips are really chopped. Yeah, we know. We can all see every crevice on them. Oh, I bought a mannequin. Oh my god. I could yeah. We could talk about indie. Indie's oh my god. My this friend. is the biggest life update. Yeah, this is a big thing for me, so <laughs> please listen. Um I like am just in my house all alone. So bored. Me and Cece are like, we wish we had Another friend that was almost the same height as Emmy and it kind of looked like her. And she just didn't talk or anything. <laughs> and we found one. I was at the thrift store and I found a mannequin and I called Jake and I pointed the camera and I said, look. And he said, how much? And we bought it and she's in my kitchen and I named her Indy after Lord's sister. <laughs> um, and she like like provides me a lot of emotional support. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but she's kind of fucking terrifying a little Stop. bit. Stop. Okay. When she I was came with falsies. <laughs> she had falsies on. She had falsies yeah, on. Yeah, everyone keeps asking if I glued them. No, girl. I did. I thought lashes she glued them done. on, but you did put lipstick on her, and I did wipe it off. What? I didn't do that. 
Yes, you did. Um, Unless she just had it on. No, but yesterday when I was also a resident of Zazaville, that bitch scared me so Indy? bad. Yes. Oh, I run the fuck away from her every <laughs> night. I lock my front door and sprint because I think she's going to come wiggle my door. I mean, bought a mannequin just to be terrified of it. Like, she locks. Oh, my God, yeah. Spencer says something to me, too. Like, was like, Indy scares me. And I was like, stop. Why would you say that? And he's like, why would you buy a mannequin if you're scared of it? And I said, I'm not scared of her. Why are you saying that? Because I was so scared. <laughs> I mean, literally runs to her bed. and lo- she's It's afraid like that if you had a basement. Like, I don't have a basement, so I had to get some replacement of running away from the dark. And it's, and it's running away from Indy. Indy in the dark. <laughs> the first night I had her, she was, like, kind of creeping me out. And I was like, this girl needs a tequila shot. She was freaking me the fuck. Did she take a shot? No. Um, anyways. <laughs> I'm not so mad at you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like She was staring at me like a weirdo and wouldn't stop. And I was so scared. I was like, girl, what are you looking at? Like, I don't know what you want. I don't have any treats or anything. Like, <laughs> stop. She's and real. Then, what do you mean treats? And then she was just like freaking us out. Me and David were sitting there. And then we heard a woman cough. But like, I, I probably was, was it from outside or something. Um, but then also Jake's door, like we don't have doors that you could just push and they open. Like you got to turn the door knob and push it open. Um, Jake's door did open by itself and then slowly creak open. This was an hour after I got Indy and put her all together. His door did slowly creak open by itself. So I did bring a big knife in there and checked if there was anyone and there wasn't. It's Indy's revenge. Well, she opened the fucking door. I'm like, it's Indy's room now. (laughs) Like Jake or Adam's going to get possessed. Like it's Indy's room. Imagine. Then I'll have a new friend. Her name will be Indy. I like, I s- like, yeah, like Indy lives in there now. <laughs> the haunting of, oh my God, I'm going to be like a classic tale or something for like a ghost story. Cause the like haunting Indy's, of Indy? Yeah, the haunting of Indy. But I can t- be there to tell my story from an outside perspective because I'm not getting possessed by that bitch. Get off your phone. I'm looking through my camera roll. We just were talking about this. I know. I was just doing Guys, it. I've been a Fortnite innator. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't done. <laughs> we can finish. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, also I was kidding when I said to get off your phone, because I was on my phone. Okay. Sorry. Um. What were you saying about Indy? That, um, she freaked me out so bad after the door opened that I saged her. Uh, and then I was like, I feel so much better. It feels like a spirit has been lifted. Does sage even work? I don't know, bitch. I'll c- I will let a match who walk around India and tell <laughs> me something. Spencer sage. told you. Spencer said, my aunt, grandma, no, David who's told a me witch too. healer, told me. No, David me told me too. Oh, David did? Mm-hmm. But, like, uh, I'm not kidding. I could light up, like, a Yankee candle and walk around India and convince myself I cleansed her. Um, but I don't think I actually did anything. I think her spirit actually is just in Jake's room. But, like... Jake, that seems like something you're going to have to deal with. He's going to have to at some point, whether he likes it or yeah, not. Yeah, and then at night, I, like, ran into my room and locked the door to go to bed. I, like, locked both my doors so no one's getting to me. Um, But then I had a dream that Indy split in half and that <laughs> half of her was in my living room. And she was, like, trying to run around. The whole, like, I thought she was going to attack me the whole night Yeah, but night. I feel like since I had that dream that she's, like, fine now. I she just wanted to show me what's up. She's, like... This is my house, too. And I was like, I respect you. I literally thought I was, again, Zaza. Mm-hmm. Juices. And I literally, like, thought someone was going to break in every five seconds. My heart was racing so fast. I mean, was asleep and all I could. You know when, like, you're imagining something? You could have woken me up. But, like, okay. I could have, but I just didn't want to. You know when you're imagining something, but you can imagine it, like, past the point of imagining it, and you can, like, literally see it happening? So me when I blink and create things in my eyeballs. Like, like if I, like, imagine that door opening, I can, like, almost, like, see it. So, like, that's what was, like, happening. Something in your brain is so weird, because you said you don't have an inner voice. No, I don't. Do you not envision everything in your eye? Like, you know how, like, okay, if I'm right now, if I'm, like think of an orange, like, you can see an orange, but where do you see it? Yeah. Like, do you not do that all the time with everything? Not really. What do you mean, think of an orange? Wait. Okay, if I were right now, if I was like, think of an orange, can okay. you see an orange? Yeah. But y- where do you see it? Like in the back of my head. Okay, but like, do you not do that all the time with everything? No. I think that's part of not having an inner monologue. Yeah, I don't have an inner monologue. I'm just like, mm, I have an inner monologue like and I s- do that all the time. All day long. That's so weird. I have no thoughts in my brain all day long. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, that's why I think people get really confused by, like, what my intentions are, but I just genuinely, like, don't have a thought in my brain. Like, I just, like, will just do something. Oh, my God. You know what I'm actually, like, obsessed with recently, and I what? can't find an example? I, like, 
Okay, first of all, I like oh, okay, I do this thing at like it always happens at like 7 in the morning when um so like b- my boyfriend will be asleep and I won't know what to do. And then like I used to like know someone in my life that like almost sent me down like a QAnon spiral where I like was like a conspiracy theorist, but like sometimes I'll just like look at the Instagram accounts to go back down that path. And I started watching this whole video about like this girl who had like an alien soul trap time loop and then i started like convincing myself that like what if like i accidentally sold my soul by accident and like didn't even realize it like that would be suck and then like I, my life is just like my soul is not where i originally was Bitch, we can't go back to la la land because like i don't know what the fuck you're saying but you've been talking <laughs> no, for 10 minutes no okay I didn't absorb it was just this really like complex like conspiracy theories about like your soul being trapped and then i started going deeper and then like once i started seeing the lizard stuff i like couldn't do it anymore <laughs> but like i literally am so i'm so easy to sway like my opinion on that like i will fall down random conspiracy theory traps Bitch, you literally, the last words I heard before this was, I feel like my soul's gone. Like, yeah, oh like what if I God. accidentally sold my soul and I didn't realize it because I, f- I found a soul trap alien demon and I accidentally gave it to him when I was younger and I didn't know that. Oh, there's people living under Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a video. There's people apparently and they're, they um they have Fitbits underneath Antarctica I'm to sorry. track their I'm steps. I'm not even going to try and act like I could understand anything you're saying. Yeah, you can never what understand. What do you mean? <laughs> no. We have bit okay. <laughs> what do you mean under Antarctica? I don't know. I was watching a conspiracy. Bitch, I thought the world was actually a ball and that we went in and out of the ball. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Like I thought it was actually a ball and that we were on top of the ball. And I didn't get it. Wait, I'm really confused <laughs> like, right now. In the world. Try, okay. I knew about like the ozone layer. Okay. Like the layers. But here's the world. Pretend uh-huh. like we're looking at it from the sun. Okay. I thought we were uh, you're like losing look, me. Stop, <laughs> you're look, losing me. This is me. the whole world. Okay. This. this is so. This is if I drew a world. And it's like a circle. Also, if you are on audio, I can't tell you what I'm doing. This is a globe. Okay. That we color. Globe round. Yeah, but look at it as if it's 2D, because that's what's gonna help you more. Okay. This is a circle. The circle here is the whole circle. Okay. I thought we lived here, like on top of the circle. <laughs> Like, you thought that, like... Yeah, and I didn't understand where the fuck space was. Because I was like, if we're here... I don't get it. I can't think about space. Look, I thought we lived on the top of the Earth. Yes, okay. Like, where do we... Where are we? Well, we are on top of the Earth, technically. <laughs> well, no, we're not. Yes, we are, technically. No, we're not. And where does the fucking layer, the last layer of the Earth end <laughs> to the sky? I don't get it. Wait, what? The last layer is of the, the Earth? Is the sky in the Earth? <laughs> I don't get it. Is, this, is the, the sky is space? Wait, is the sky in the Earth? Because it's the ozone layer, whatever the fuck that is. No, because we, I'm freaking out. Oh, then so I guess the sky is a part of Earth. Is it? Yeah, because like, because like, how does the sky just stop? Did you ever think about this? Because how the Earth looks, whatever. The Earth must be flat. There's no way this is real. How does the sky not go into space? I know. <laughs> I've been saying this, and nobody gets me. <gasps> I'm pissed off. Wait, NASA, you're making. Oh, up. and NASA wants to make a station under <laughs> the ocean. What's oh, the point? Shut up. You gotta go all the way up. You're NASA. <laughs> Bitch, you're insane. <laughs> Glad that I could no, share my thought. That Thank actually. You. I that, have to ask everyone. Can you no, go get Jordan? That made so much sense. Call Wait, can Jordan. you go get Jordan? He needs to come Tell in here. Tell him Ian's on the floor. No, you just text <laughs> him. Text him. Can I lay on the floor and start screaming? Ah. Okay. I'll call. It. I'm gonna call Jordan. Uh. <laughs> just wait. Jordan, help. Ian's on the floor. Oh, we need you. Jordan, help. Jordan. Ian needs you to we help him you. up. We need All right. All right. Please come help Ian. I don't know if he's coming. Get stay on the floor. Well, I was going to sit and then we're just going to like make him feel crazy and be like, what? I wasn't on the floor. Oh. 
Think of something we could fake talk about. We have to ask his opinion on the earth. I know, but when he walks in. I feel like he knows a lot about science. I know. So oh, I also, Jordan is our manager. The ozone layer is the layer in the earth. I mean, I was trying to, like, introduce Jordan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Jordan's our manager. He said, the ozone layer is the layer of the earth. No, Jordan is our manager here at We Are Verified. I, I love he's coming jo- to help you. He better fucking come. Tell him we're quitting if he doesn't come. He's our manager. No. <laughs> no. We didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say Get on the floor now. No. <laughs> we have a question. And we yeah, we have a question. We have a question and we need You have to be on the podcast. Sit. Okay, I have to explain Now, it. sit. Yes, yeah, Jordan's right going to help. Yes, yeah. we're on the air. We're filming right now. Yeah, and yes. I need help to, like, you have to help you me You have to educate this. us because we feel like you know about science, maybe. Oh, dude, I love science. Okay, Jenna, okay. you have to kind of see this, much. too. Okay. I'm asking Jordan, and I also am going <laughs> to get Jenna's opinion on my science question. We're having a real tough time with the whole ozone layer thing. Yeah, also, so welcome our manager, Jordan. Woo! Yay! So, look, this circle, this is the Earth. Sure. Okay? This is space. Okay. Now, that's going to be hard for the audience. See? I, I got you. Get the vibe. Um, I used to think people lived here, like on the whole border of the earth. Then I realized that we're a little inside it. So then like, this is the sky. Why doesn't the sky leak into space? Okay. So there are approximately, I think, uh, eight or nine ozone layers that you go through in order to get to space. Um, I actually like forget all of their names, but there's nine of them or 10. We can look this up too, obviously. Um, but I think that each one of them <laughs> holds. Oh. Am I right? right? Are you looking at this? I have no, idea. no you, just I just really going. thought this was a tough question. You kind of had to an answer right away, so I'm feeling really dumb. No, I don't think it's dumb. I mean, it's like, it is. I feel like I learned about it later, like when I needed Keep to know. asking. Well, like, because. telling. Because, like, the climate change. Like, why? Like, why? Right? Why like, is why, is, why is it such a big deal, right? <laughs> I want to see how far. So why is climate change such a big deal? No, we're not talking about climate change. No, no, we're I'm talking just, about why doesn't the sky go into space? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. It has to do with climate change. No, Wait, forever, it though? doesn't. You're lying. Yeah, like it never climate's never always been changing. That's that's <laughs> the, no, that's not. That's because dumb. if climate change was the reason the sky didn't go into space, then it would then have it always have, been changing. Yeah, it nope, been that's not. Uh, so so everything was always everything's always changing. Always. Okay. Cli- climate climate so is always changing. One day the, sky the difference will leak. though. Yeah, well has been sometimes? CO2 gas that humans have created and emitted into the sky, which has really effed up our ozone layer. All right, I got to go. No, Excuse but me. like, what does that have? What does that have to do with space? Well, you're not uh, really. Yeah, mean. why is all the air stuck in here? Wait, how the fuck is the sky not different, leaking into the into the? Okay, how about how about this? Uh, and different the air. different densities. Have you guys ever put like vinegar in water? No. <gasps> Oh, fun game. Yeah, fun like game. Like oil? Uh-huh. Like vegetable oil <laughs> sure. on the floats? I didn't you know could, the Exactly. Day. That's one. Balsamic vinegar. You use this, of course, right? Do you? No. Oh, weird. Wait, you actually... But what, is, what does balsamic vinegar have to do with There's the different density, space? There's different densities, different weight, different, <laughs> different like, gravity metrics for but each But we're not in layer. a tube. Like, we're not in a cup with a bunch of dressing. Like, it's not... You're so valid. I mean, honestly, that actually is kind of... But, like, we actually kind of are. We actually kind of are. We're that is exactly tube. how we are, yeah. Well, we don't know where the universe stops. We're kind of in a cup. Like, our, our whole world, like, you can God. imagine it like that. And we're in the middle. My fucking leg is so dry. Have you guys I feel ever like if you heard what I just said, like, you would have understood it. Like, I heard whatever. what you said. I just I heard don't you. fucking I just get it. I hear you and I see you, but I don't get it. Yeah. What's that from? I don't Probably Lila Give Me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you guys ever have people in class that would lean in their desk and their whole desk would fall open <laughs> on them? <laughs> Did that happen to you? I no. did it a couple times just for attention. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How what old? was your childhood like? Oh, honestly, pretty great. Really? Great childhood, yeah. No trauma. Um <laughs> parents still together today. Um it's great. Gave me everything I wanted. Coddled. Played sports. I'm just fucking around. Oh Horrible my god. Childhood. I, I, uh, was I was like, adopted. Oh, wow. <gasps> No, you weren't. From where? No, I'm just kidding. Everything I said first oh, was what true. What the fuck? Which one's true? The first one. 
She had a perfect little child. It wasn't perfect, but I was, it was, it was it was idyllic. Sounds pretty perfect. It was a good. It was idyllic. Did you? Where do you live? Idyllic. Upstate New York. What the fuck is idyllic? And you lived in upstate idyllic. New York. What is that? Please look it up. I so you experienced all the seasons. Did you have brothers and sisters? I did. Uh, oh at one my point. god! And did they love you? Mm-hmm, they and still do you guys have a good relationship? Uh, yeah. How what was your Christmas? F? Oh, I'm oh, Jewish. Fuck. It's, ooh, it's offensive and a little okay, bit anti-Semitic. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Why are you wooing with me? I wasn't like wooing in a good way. I was like, oh. I thought I could distract you if I started doing it too. But it will make for a great title for this podcast. Ian is anti-Semitic. And you're wearing your Trisha Paytas hoodie, bitch. You're not looking okay, too good look. right now. I love that hoodie. I, so, I uh, helped design it. Yeah, tell me why you have a bunch of them then. Uh, you know, uh, we designed those for a Trisha Paytas tour. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, they, they sold like crazy. Do you think we Is that why you have a bunch of them here? Because they sold too <laughs> I much? bought a lot of them myself because I wanted them in stock, like, for just, like, to have, you know? I just put this on because I look like a grease goblin. Do you think we could do an episode at Cracker Barrel? Sure. Because <gasps> the rocking chairs? Yeah. Do we, like... Do you guys have any more science questions? Because I, I actually, I mean, seriously, I really do have to, you know, not to be... Um, yeah, I, have to, I have to go at some, you know, soon. What is the uh, chemical... Imbalance in all of our heads. Now... That is an interesting question. It's a little bit of serotonin deficit, dopamine deficit. Um, uh, no, seriously, ask me a question. Go. No, that was really it. We just wanted to Wait, know about the moon. how many giraffes? How many giraffes? <laughs> how many giraffes does the Bronx Zoo have? Yeah. I think like two. Okay. Thank you. I- Ian? What are you doing? Ian, can I get one more? One more what? Question. No, that was really it. No, ask one. I can. You can. Keep going. If the pool. Is the pool. Yeah. And only if you were swimming, though. Is is the pool only if you were swimming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, what else? It's a really, really interesting philo- philosophical <laughs> statement, is though. Is the pool only if you were swimming? And wow. in the new ah, year, too, We though. could explore that. Did you celebrate Lunar New Year? Nah. The lunar eclipse is what? What's the lunar eclipse? W- like, what is it? Mm-hmm. Like a lunar eclipse? Is the time that the Earth is the moon has shadows because what is the shadow? I think the Earth is the shadow on the moon, and we can only see a sliver of it. Okay, but this it's episode is going to be like a twenty-minute like ramble. Yeah, dude, this is ridiculous. No, thank you. I mean, thank I you, you know I think it's great. What are you guys going to talk about the rest of the time? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys got any plan or this just kind of? Do we have any plants? I have two outside my front door. <laughs> Bye, Jordan. Bye, Mr. Rowona. All right, guys. This, this has been really fun. Thank you. I no actually... Bye. I actually thought that uh, that was going to be a really hard question for everyone. I was, yeah, like, I'm really like, shocked that Jordan kind of knew an answer right away. Su- did you know what it was, Jenna? Really? Were you like, oh, my God, like, how does this guy not go into the space? Let's talk about the drama. Oh, I don't know. That might not be appropriate. Really? Yeah, hold the drama. There's been a lot of drama going on recently. Yeah, with some certain... That. And then... Some friends we had to cut off. Yeah. It was really fucking awkward. Low yeah. Because they... Yeah, I can tell them. Our friends that we cut off, Gonzo, suck. No, actually, like, let me... I'll tell it. Yeah, so, Ian's gonna tell it. Okay. We're out and about, about to have our fun little WeHo night. And I'm not saying the name of this person, and some of you might know who it is, but, like, just don't comment if you do. So we're out. We're getting ready to go to West Hollywood. And the whole time, the whole entire time, our ex-friend goes up to Emmy and says, you should probably should drink this. <laughs> Trying to hand her cranberry juice, saying that her pussy stinks. Okay, <laughs> what are we doing? This isn't real, and I wanted to go along with it because it was funny, and then you turn it into me having a stinky <laughs> puss, so why is that fun for me? Because you always have UTIs. I've had, like, two. Okay, well, it was Ever. two for, like, four three. months. No, I've had three. No, one was when I was, like, 11 from the water park. Second one was from the water park once again, <laughs> but I just didn't uh, take care of it for a while because I didn't know it was a UTI because it didn't hurt to pee. I just kept pissing myself. Then the third one was just another UTI. Are you still having pee problems? No, have you seen me pee my pants recently? Well, you kind of just like all of a sudden run to the bathroom and say, if I don't go right now, I'm going to piss myself. So yeah, yeah, but have you seen me pee my pants? No. Exactly. Oh. 
One, two, three. All eyes on me. And this is the tree. What could it be? Oh, I want to write a children's book about me and Cece going to Olive Garden. And we started crying her eyes out. <laughs> the fox. Listen, the fox and the hound. I think Jake thought of this. The f- or was it Spencer? I don't remember. The the fox and the hound go to Olive Garden. But I'm the fox and Cece's the hound because I'm a foxy you mama. Mean Lady and the Tramp? No! <laughs> the fox and the hound. That's a completely different story. Yeah, I'm not basing the Olive Garden off Lady and the Tramp. Why, then what about Fox and the Hound? Because I want to see Cece eat her moose through the Fox and the Hound. It's because Cece's a hound and I'm a foxy mama. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a play on words. Stop. The Fox and the Hound go to Olive Garden. So like Foxy Mama Emmy and her daughter, Cece the Hound, go to Olive oh. Garden and eat. Cece is a cartoon and eats a little piece of Teramusu. Teramusu? Teramus, like what? Teramasa? Teramasu? Teramusu? Teramasu? Teramasu? I don't give a fuck. Good cake at Olive Garden. What the fuck? I actually never had Teramasu. It's really good. What is that? I don't know. You want to go get something? Have it at Whole Foods? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I don't know. You want to get something? Have it at Whole Foods? Because, wow. Can you just do Liz once? Wow. That's good. I love this cooler. More than you probably do. No. Not yeah. True. What? You say not true. Jenna's staring at us. Because <laughs> we're just saying words. <laughs> it's literally been like a <clears throat> half an hour word vomit. Probably. Would you guys rather we have a whole structure or you just want us to chit chat? Because if you want the structure, I don't know about Everyone that. Everyone keeps saying that they just like when we just chit. Yeah, they're like, damn, there's no structure. And then like, they say I they love like that it. It's just never like finishing sentences ever. <laughs> Yeah, but smoothie. Oh my god! Another thing I'm obsessed with. If is you were dyslexic, that T could be an F because of the curve, and it could say smoothie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Radical you. smoothie juices. <laughs> I believe you. I'm really obsessed with political art right now. Have you seen those before? Not like actually like political, like deep in the sense, but like, okay. Republicans <laughs> and Democrats, they will <laughs> they'll make memes. No, just wait. I'm waiting, girl. Okay, wait. Like, let me find let me find an example. They put so much fucking effort into these like memes, but they're just like non. Fuck, I need to find it. It's so like. What are you saying? No, it's gonna make sense when you see it. You like honey? Yes. Would you eat it with a spoon? I have before. What would you right now? Oh my god, you can't even... Do you hear my sandal? No. You don't hear that? Fuck, how do I find this? Like, exact, like, very niche, like, art style that I'm trying to, like, find. It almost looks like the uh, caricature drawings from the fair. But it will be like, Kamala wants your baby! And it literally is, like, the most, like, insane things ever. Or it will be like... It will be like... Thank God we got the Cheeto out. And it would be like a photo of Trump, but like as like a hot Cheeto. But it was like, was obviously someone put like at least 30 hours of like work into it. And I can't, st- like, I need to find it. I don't know what it. you're talking about. I'm sorry. Fuck. Would Wait. you eat a spoon of honey right now? I'm going to narrate what he's doing. Ian Cooper Smith sits in his lawn chair against the black wrinkly curtain. He scrolls on his phone with, and his phone has a puppet unicorn case. He looks at it. He cannot find it, but he keeps scrolling and scrolling. And he found it! Like, it's just like, they put so much time. This says, if you don't count the blue states, I would have won the election. And it's just like a photo of, like, Trump that someone, like, definitely put, like, hours of time into i'm gonna make one when i get home but i'm just like why are you making art of someone that you hate (laughs) like why did you do that for five hours of your life wait um because there's a group of people that take that in and they're like "Ooh, this is so good so they know people are gonna look at it (laughs) no because there's people that look at their art anyway so they don't care because if it's about something popular they probably don't care if they don't like it or not is what i was trying to that's true, but it's always like with their go politics. The Urban discount store if you yeah. Here's the be- the fourteen best get to know you questions. 
I'm going to sit like this the rest of the podcast. What's the number one item you would save from a burning house? Okay, wait, redo it. CC Ian, whoa, 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 sorry. I just yelled at Ian and called him CC on accident. What is the number one thing you would save? Oh, wait, we're going to ask each other questions. What is the number one thing you would save from a burning house? Like, I would just make sure everyone in it was okay, probably. That's not what the question was. Well, if, like, say, like, my boyfriend needed to be saved, I would, like, oh, make well, sure he's good first. Oh, well, then say that you save him. Yeah. You just said you would check if there were people in it. No, like, if it was my apartment, I would just make sure all my roommates were oh. fine. And then I'd probably try to grab my Xbox. Okay, so and that's what we were hoping for. And my Not Luna hoping album. For. That's what I was asking. I was asking what you would grab. I'd Obvi- grab my Luna I album. I think it's obvious that you would, like, grab people. Yeah. Mine would be CC. I would grab my Luna album, my Xbox, and my Starlight. So I that if I live in a tent, I at least can have pretty lights in it. That's weird that you say that. Because I was like, if I ever had to go, like dorm somewhere if i had a starlight i would feel like i was home (laughs) um i would take cc and i feel like that is like valid because obviously you take people but cc is like kind of dumb so i actually would have to physically pick her up from like a burning house and then i probably wouldn't really have room to carry anything else but if i could grab something else it'd be indy (laughs) (laughs) um are there any life lessons that you wish you knew about earlier What would it be? That I can just do anything. Mine would be, like, you don't have to talk to people. <laughs> like, just stop yeah. trying to talk to everybody. Like, it's not that serious. My recent one, that's not even... Uh, these are just, like, realizations that I should have had earlier. Like, I can just say no. Like, if I don't want to hang out, I can just say no. Yeah, I've been, like, the only people I really want to see is, like, you and then, like, whoever else is around, like... That would be in that such situ- situation, and then I'm just home, cause like I can't do this whole like talk to everyone thing. After the dizzy party, I like don't like house parties really. I like to like go and like be annoying and obnoxious, but like I literally go to a house party to like make it a game. Like I don't actually go to like party. Yeah. Well, isn't that just our form of partying? <laughs> Is making treating it a everything big like joke. a reality TV show. <laughs> Yeah. Me and Emmy actually, like, talk like there's a camera on, like, 24-7. But it's not I, I, It's not even in, like, a unhealthy way. It's just, it's like, just we're psychotic. Like, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the life lesson of that I, c- I can just do anything and wear whatever I want, and I don't know anyone, actually. And, no, that's, like, I'm saying, like, I have my friends, and if my friends were to make fun of something I'm doing, then why would I want them to be my friend? And I don't know anyone else. Like, yeah. I'm not friends with anyone else, so if they don't like what I'm doing, why do I care? Yeah. Do you often hide your true self from others from fear of judgment? No. I'm, like, disgustingly upfront. Like, it's actually probably, like, Why really did I just off. give y'all a nasty look? <laughs> I said, no. Sorry. I'm, like, actually so, like, disgustingly off-putting and, like, actually won't hide a single thing. And it's probably, like, I need to, like, show less. Cause I'll show less skin? Yeah, probably. Because right now my ankles are showing and I'm sure someone's, like, really excited about it. I think we should just, like, make this episode, like, a compilation episode because it's, like, s- uh, kind of a mess. And then just title it something about us smoking. Podcast Emmy and smoke weed, and this is what happens. Say Emmy and go to Zaza Town. Oh, we can caption it that. Yeah. Emmy and Ian go to Zaza Town. <laughs> yes, they do. How about you? Trying to get through the Zaza Town. <laughs> no, bitch. Is this like, like the rest? Oh. They're on their way here to slay. But they need some Zaza. <laughs> Oh, go stream on um, pink. Stream pink, but Brandon in the club. Every day, we're gonna be strong, fucking gays. Oh, love, love club. If you wanna fit in, if you wanna be in love, welcome to the love club, baby. Welcome that song to is the good, honestly. Club, I pu- I fucking put everyone onto Brandon. You wanna fit in. I was the original welcome clubber. To welcome to the love club, baby. You're not gonna give me that. I was the original clubber. I literally was. You were, and I was the second one. Like, everyone was a hater of Brandon. If there's if there's only one Brandon the Club's fan left, it's because everyone else is dead. I'm the only one. What does that mean? It means that I'm a diehard. I want to oh. get a Brandon the Club tattoo. Do it. 
I literally will on my ankle. Do you want to fit in? Can we get matching tattoos with Brandon in the club? We can't get matching tattoos. But if it's with Brandon in the clubs, like, it's different. Oh, it's cursed. <laughs> Don't ever get a matching tattoo with your best friend. It's cursed. And me and me and need help. They're on their way. On their way. Here to slay, but they need some help. They need some help.